welcome back to my channel, Jen and Vixen. It's Kathy, and a while back I had quite a few requests to do a tutorial on how I use hot rollers to style my hair. So here I am. I'm going to show you a really, really easy way to use hot rollers to style your hair. Yes, I know when you think of hot rollers, you most certainly think of old fashions antiquated hot rollers, the hard spiky ones with the metal clips, but now there are so many different ones that are out there. They're more modern, nicer, gentler on your hair, and they are a super, super easy way to style your hair. So stay tuned if you wanna see how I style my hair like this with hot rollers. Okay, so before I get started with the actual rolling process, let me show you the hot rollers I'm gonna use. I am using the Conair hot rollers these are, I don't know, just basic hot rollers. They're really nice because they're larger. I do prefer the larger hot rollers and the smaller hot rollers. Um, they're this big. I don't know what size that is, but maybe like, what, an inch and a half or so? They're flocked, so they're really soft on your hair. They, you don't feel like they're doing a whole lot of damage, like some of the, um, remember the hard plastic ones that we used to use, and I actually still have some of those, but um, these seem to be gentler on your hair, which I do really like. I love these because they heat up in gosh, supposedly 30 seconds. I don't think they really heat up as hot as I want them in 30 seconds, but I um, I do um, like that they heat up fairly fast. I remember I used to get them when I was little, the hot rollers, I wouldn't say little, when I was a teenager. And um, I feel like sometimes I'd plug them in the night before to make sure they were nice and hot by the morning when I needed to have them for my hair to get ready for school um, because they were at least a good 20, 30 minutes before you got them nice and hot. But I do love the systems now that heat up in 30 seconds, supposedly 30 seconds. But even if it takes them two minutes, that's fine too. It's much faster than they were when, um, it took, you know, basically all night. I have a smaller set. These are um, the five-piece travel system. I really like these. They're also by Conair. Let's see, it's called the Instant Heat Hair Setter. These are great for traveling because um, they have dual voltage and they've got a little place in here where you can use the wire clips or you can store the wire clips, which are really, really nice. And um, they heat up super fast. I think these really do heat up in 30 seconds. And I keep these packed in my suitcase, my flight attendant suitcase when I go to work. And I don't always use them but I know that I can fix my hair really fast if I need to with um, the hot rollers so I just keep them in there they don't take up a whole lot of room and um, I just think it's something good to have it's just one of those gotta have must have items that I just keep in my travel suitcase for now I find that hot rollers work best on hair that is actually day old hair. I think second day hair is much better for hot rollers. However my hair is not second day hair I actually just um, washed my hair last night and slept on it, but I didn't do anything to it. So I just finished the other video with this tutorial so you can see how I did this particular face. If you like this face and want to see how I did it, I will link that video below. Right before I made that video, I put a little bit of my Salon Graphics Shaping Mousse in my dry hair. This actually works better if you have wet hair and blow dry it, but since my hair was already dry, I just didn't feel like taking that extra step. So I just put a little bit of that in there and it dried while I was making the video. But since I do think that hot rollers work a little better on second day hair. I am going to dirty my hair up just a tad. I'm gonna use my got to be um, powder. This is a hair powder. It basically thickens your hair, gives you a little more body, and gives you a little more texture so that the hot rollers will have something to kind of cling to. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this, um, rub it in my hands, and then I'm going to like go in. It's best to go underneath your hair, but I'm just doing this kind of at the base just to give it a little more fullness too. And I think that when you use the rollers, they'll definitely um, have a little more body and a little more staying power. Here's my next step. I use a protectant spray. This is the Salon Graphics protectant spray. It's not really anything super duper fabulous. I bought this at the 99 cent store. I stocked up on it because it was 99 cents, so I have a lot of this. And this supposedly protects your hair up to 450 degrees. And it has a little tiny bit of hole, but not much. But I'm going to just actually spray my hair. It's good to kind of hit the ends. Because we want to preserve our ends as much as we can from split ends. And I'm just going to brush that through. This is my, um, actually this is my daughter's brush. It's just a 
I don't even know. Is it a goodie? I don't know. Oh, it's an earth brush, whatever that means. Okay. I think I might have picked that up at TJ Maxx or Ross or someplace. Just a basic brush. All right. So now let's start curling. I prefer metal pins to secure the rollers in my hair as opposed to clips like this because I feel like these clips still leave like a little line where um, you curl your hair. So I like these for the top. However, I do have some shorties, some little short hairs underneath that um, don't really want to stay in the hot roller. Um, without this clip, this kind of helps to secure it in. I'll show you how I use that. But um, overall, I just prefer the metal clips over the clip clips. I keep my clips in a little Tupperware container like this, mainly because there isn't a place for them in the hot roller set. Otherwise, I keep them right there in the, in the hot rollers. But oh well, they didn't um, do that. When they were creating this particular set, they didn't put a place for them. So we're gonna start real basic. I always like to start with the crown of my hair, and I don't really need a um, I don't really need a comb or anything. I just grab a section, and I always use my Boost It Lift spray too by L'Oreal. This is a really really nice spray, and I try to spray just a tiny bit right there at the base. And I'm going to just roll. Grab my big clip and just clip it in. See, it's pretty easy, nothing too spectacular. Now I just take the front section here, and like I said, I don't part it out with a comb because it does not have to be precise because I kind of go for a little bit of a messier look. I'm going to use my spray. I like to use that right there at the base. Kind of keep it all contained once again. And I'm going to curl this one under. Sometimes they flip this one up, but today I'm going to go under. Because sometimes, it, either way, it just kind of flips. Okay, so we'll just pin that in there. And now I were, I'm going to work on the sides. As you can see, I use very few. I'm not really using this to curl my hair. I'm pretty much just giving my hair a little lift and body with the hot rollers. With this particular style, that's really all I need. I don't particularly care for curly um, hair on me with this length of hair. But that's just me, just my style. Everyone has their own style. Now on to this section. Okay, now on to the back. See these little hairs in the back? They're kind of short. So you'll see what I mean about using the white clips for those. Now I'm on to the smaller ones because, first of all, I only have four of the big rollers. And second of all, the big rollers wouldn't fit on those short little hairs underneath anyway, so I will clip that into place. You see how those will just clip right in. Look, this one's coming loose, but that's all right. Oh, I'm going to have to probably redo it because I am not really a perfectionist, but I am a little OCD when it comes to hot rollers because if you don't get them all rolled in the roller, then yeah. Some will come out wonky. Okay. All right, on to the next one. Okay, 
So there we go. Now we're all rolled. Now the longer you keep your rollers in your hair, the longer that curl is going to last in your hair. If you just want a tiny, tiny bit of body, I would roll them up, then take the rollers out real quick. However, I'm gonna leave these in for a couple of minutes. Now I know when I used to do extra work in movies, a lot of the girls would show up. Um, we'd have to go in really, really early. So we'd have to kind of be halfway ready to go so a lot of the girls would go ahead and roll their hair and they would drive to the sets in hot rollers yeah you look like I don't know an old lady <laughs> at a bathrobe and house shoes and you are an old lady <laughs> just hanging out at the house isn't that the the look but um, I was watching a show that was on TV last summer called Game of Crowns, not Game of Thrones, but Game of Crowns. And it was about the um, the Mrs. America beauty pageants, or you know, the, the married women's beauty pageants and how competitive some of these women are. And um, I just fell in love with all these girls. But the one that was Mrs. America, her name was Shelly, would always show up. Actually, she only did one pageant, I think, when the whole show was on because I think she felt like she didn't really need to do another one. But anyway, that's another story. But when they showed her getting ready to go places, she always had her hair in hot rollers and a scarf. And I thought that's a really, really good way to kind of cover up your hair without, um, you know, feeling too exposed. <laughs> <laughs> or too old ladyish. Well, actually, this does look kind of old ladyish, but it also kind of kept her rollers in place if she was going to be running around because sometimes they do. Because, um, like I said, I use those metal clips, those metal clips can kind of loosen up. So, this keeps everything in place if you do want to wear these for a little while just to kind of. Um, let the curl set in there or the body. And I thought that was a great idea. So I'm so glad that I watched that show. If nothing else, if I learned nothing else about the Mrs. America beauty pageants, I learned that if you put a scarf on your hot rollers, it keeps them in place until you're ready to take them out. So I'm gonna let this cool and then I'll be back to take them out and show you what I do next. Okay, I'm back. I feel like I've had my rollers in for a while. I don't know, maybe 10, 15 minutes or so. I am going to take these out for the big reveal. So let's start with my first one. I kind of just take them out in the same order that I put them in. It's no big deal because I think once the curl's there, the curl's there. Okay, so you can kind of see what it looks like. It's all PC. It's kind of PC. It looks very attractive, doesn't it? You want to see the back? I have no idea what I'm showing you, but I'm sure it doesn't look fabulous. Okay, so now this is where I need my mirror. I need my, my mirror right in front of my face. So I'm kind of feeling a little like Marilyn Monroe here, but I'm just going to take my basic brush and I'm going to kind of tease this up just a little bit. In fact, I'm going to use a little more of my spray. I'm going to kind of spray that down. I'm going to tease this up just a little bit here on the sides. I don't really do a major backcomb tease. I just do a little teasing with my brush. Because once again, I'm not going for the red carpet glam look or the mad men look. I'm just doing Orange County Housewife, probably picking up my kids from school look and going to a grocery store. You know, nothing fabulous. And we'll just tease a little bit of that up here. Okay. And actually, this is a little more body than I normally wear, but I kind of like it. And I kind of part it just a little bit, so I have a little bit of a part. But I'm kind of liking the front here like this. So I'm like, I think I'm going to just leave the front. And then I'm just going to kind of poof it a little bit on the sides. Now I'm going to grab my favorite hairspray, which is the Elnet Extra Strong Hold. Love this stuff. This is a recent find for me. This has been around forever, but I never tried it until recently. And now I'm just totally stocked up on it. But I'm going to spray. This gives you just a little bit of, um, well, gives you enough hold without weighing your hair down. And so you can have a lot of body. When you use this and you don't but you don't feel like you have a helmet 
So another tip that I learned if you want to have like kind of poofy bouncy hair is um, to spray up instead of on top because I guess when you spray it on top it tends to weigh your hair down if you spray up. Yes, this is a, a tip I learned um, from Dominique Soxie, Soxie, I guess that's how you say her name, who has a YouTube channel. Um, she said that on one of her videos and I took note and I do that too. So, there we go. I've got my hot roller hairdo in place. I'm not really sure what my back looks like, but um, here, I'll show you. Is it flat? Is it, I don't know, can't tell. Anyway, but I like the way it looks from the front. When I'm done with this video, I can go back and I can kind of look at the back <laughs> with my other mirrors and fix it if it's not looking good. But the beauty of having a cut with um, layers is it can look kind of stacked and bouncy and you can kind of get away with it, which I kind of really am loving this cut. So there is my style and it was so easy to do. It took minutes minutes. I didn't have to do a blowout. So basically all I did was wash my hair last night, slept on it, or like I said, it works really well on second day hair. So once again, you don't have to wash it, blow dry it, do your whole thing. Um, and just hot roll it, hot roll it, hot roll it, hot roll it. This is so easy. I hope you enjoyed this video. I most certainly had a good time making this video for you. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed and would like to, please subscribe. I love hearing from you. Leave me a comment. I always try to reply to all comments if possible. If not, it's just because, not because I don't love you, just because something came up or I missed it or whatever. But I do love interacting with all of my subscribers. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.